Hey there, everybody. This is your host, Sam, here from the Samuel Plays Brass channel, coming at you with another instrument review. To all the old hats in the audience, welcome back, and to any new hats, welcome aboard. Stay tuned to learn more about the Cancel Model 103 B flat trumpet. The Cancel Instrument Company has historically made it very difficult for me just by looking at their instruments to track down any model numbers or make sense of their serial numbers, and so my experience with this horn started with a little bit of a goose chase. The bell inscription, shown here, told me nothing besides the fact that this was indeed a Cancel instrument manufactured in Anaheim, California, which I could have told already. However, there was one inscription, a little etching on the mouthpiece receiver that was certainly not the work of Zygmunt Cancel himself, that spelled out COL103. And that at least gave me something to go off of, so I pulled out my nearest Google machine and typed in Cancel 103 into the search bar to find out that this was, in fact, their Coliseum model. In Cancel's own words, With a large 470 bore, this model is well suited for outdoor performance. The sound is full and rich with excellent projection, intonation, and response. So what we have here is a special large bore marching trumpet, essentially designed for use on the field, that maybe draws a little bit of inspiration from Cancel's G soprano bugles designed with their power bore. This is a fairly large bore instrument, and I think it draws some of its roots back from the DCI days. Taking a quick visual tour of this instrument, we'll notice the silver plating that many marching brass instruments are known for. The Model 103 was also available in standard lacquer, but this one happens to be silver plated. If we look at the third slide a little more closely, we perhaps notice the most amount of noteworthy features. Firstly, we've got a fixed ring for tuning purposes, nothing too special. We've also got a lyre holder, which is fairly commonplace for marching instruments. But then, a little further down, we'll see we have a dump slide in addition to the main third tuning slide, which is interesting because this instrument also comes equipped with a water key on the third slide. Having both might be a little bit overkill. I think most brands typically stick to one or the other. For instance, my Yamaha has a water key but no dump slide, whereas this Bach has a dump slide but no water key. So it's interesting that it'd have both, but nothing too remarkable, I suppose. As I mentioned, the bore on this instrument is 0 .470 inches, or at least reputed to be, because the set of calipers that I measured the second slide with measured it out to be 0.475. Either way, that's a pretty big step up from either of these two trumpets. My Yamaha, which is a fairly specialized instrument, has a bore of 0.445, and this Bach has the industry standard of 0.459 which is the typical medium large bore. So the Cancel is very much a large bore instrument. We can go back and forth on what the, what the effects of that or the ramifications might be, and that warrants its own video. The long and short of it is, does the Cancel take more air? No, it does not. But it can kind of maybe widen the amplitude of vibration a little bit, which is to say maybe it projects a little bit better on an open field. So Sam, how does the Model 103 play? Well, golly gee, I'm sure glad you asked, or I asked, but the point is hopefully you were wondering that too. This thing is loud. It really, really is. It's a big, powerful horn, but the nice thing is you can back off and play softly and with a lot of finesse. The response and clarity especially are great, which is really important for playing out on the field where you're not getting much reflective feedback in terms of your sound, so you want a horn that feels secure and responds right away. I really like the clarity in the lower register on this horn. But with that said, the high register is equally nice. All the notes slot up there nice and powerfully with no goofy alternate fingerings needed. Now I mentioned higher register alternate fingerings, and I only used a couple of conventional ones I typically use, like C sharp and D up there, but the overall intonation of the horn I would rank it okay. It's definitely not up to the singing standard that Cancel gave it, in my opinion. There's quite the divide between the typically flat E partial, which is quite flat, and the typically sharp high G partial, which is very sharp. 
Middle G also tends to want to ride about a mile high unless you purposely blow it downward a little bit. And so while this horn is responsive to your inputs as a player, it also necessitates a little bit more care on certain notes than others. Nonetheless, I consider the Colosseum model to be a very efficient trumpet. Like I said, it responds well to your inputs as a player and you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. And it plays nicely with just about any mouthpiece. I was using a Shilke 20, which is fairly large, but it wasn't inhibiting any particular register or type of sound, which was really nice to see. And there it is, sound, the golden buzzword to end all buzzwords on brass instruments. So what is the sound like on the Colosseum model trumpet? As you might expect of any marching or field trumpet, naturally the Colosseum is going to have a natively bright and ringing sound. You kind of need that out on the field where some of the upper harmonics might get lost just from the sheer distance between you and the audience, and so it needs to be fairly bright to keep up. But I would say the Colosseum is not overly bright or shrill, it's reservedly so. You hear a really nice range of harmonics in the sound, it's not just the upper shrill ones that are ringing, you hear a fairly nice balance. One of my typical complaints with marching brass is that they might not sound very good on their own and they tend to sound better with about 10 of them lined up in a horn line, but I think the Colosseum sounds very good on its own and could blend well in a section. That's definitely not something that can be said for every marching instrument or even just every trumpet in general. And as far as poking your head into different genres with this horn goes, I think it's not, you know, the worst classical or jazz horn on the planet. It can do any of that, but I really like its mariachi sound. Unfortunately, as it stands today, you're unlikely to find success just walking into your local music store and asking for a Cancel Coliseum in good condition. Cancel as a brand went down a few years ago, sold its assets to BAC and rebranded appropriately, and Zig Cancel himself has unfortunately passed away. So these instruments are not as readily available as they once would have been, and because of their collector item status in some sense, sometimes the prices on them are not as wonderful as they once would have been. But with that said, if you keep a watchful eye online, occasionally one of them will pop up for a very good price. If you can find one with a price tag on it anywhere similar to what they used to be listed as, it is a really, really good value. These trumpets sometimes don't cost an exorbitant sum of money, and they really, really are fun to play. Like I keep saying, they do best in outdoor settings, out on the field, in the marching band, but they are fun no matter where you stick them. They do take a certain... I guess efficiency from the player in some sense, even though the Cancel 103 is an efficient horn, it really prefers that the player approach it with the layback approach rather than the push approach, which is a change of pace for some players. So the 103 might not work for every player in every single setting, but for me, it really has been a fun one to play. And if you find it works for you, it really is definitely a fun one. Anyway, this has been Samuel Plays Brass reviewing the Cancel Model 103 Coliseum B-flat trumpet. I hope you've learned something, and I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, consider leaving a like and a comment down below. While you're at it, if you find you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It's totally optional, but it's a small gesture with a huge impact on the channel. It ensures that I keep making these reviews for you, and it ensures, in turn, that you see when I put out these reviews. In the meantime, if you want to see more reviews, they'll be in the playlist in the top right corner in the card. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. I am now realizing <laughs> the issue with this. I have to, oh no. I have to take my gloves off to hit record. Oh, please. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> no. You better do all these in one take, by the way. Uh, take your glove off. Yeah. Now it is my favorite time. We get to be annoying and play really high. Okay, this is gonna be the time you sound good. Sure, I'll take that. <laughs>